Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, lookup tables. So uh, we are starting now the module about image filtering and image filtering is all about uh, transformation of a signal, in this case transformations of an image. And uh, one of the simplest way of transforming an image is the lookup table where we only uh, look at the value of uh, of uh, a point to determine the uh, the value of the uh, output. So this is uh, not based on the neighborhood. This is not based on anything else. That the value of a single point, and we are making a direct correspondence between the input value of a point and its output. So um, how does that uh, work? Well, if we um, take a look at the basic, uh, the basic idea, as I said, it's a lookup table. So we are making a table of correspondence between input values and output values. So what we will be saying is, let's imagine here that we have an input uh, where we have eight possible uh, values in the input signal. We'll say for each of those possible value, values, this will be the uh, output. If it was a zero at the input, we put a four at the output. If it was one at the input, we put three at the output, etc., etc. Uh, an interesting thing to, to, to note is that um, if we have for every value of the uh, every possible value of the output here, uh, if we have only one uh, possible input that uh, points to that value, then it means that the lookup table will be reversible. So we can here with this lookup table, uh, if we know the output and we know the lookup table, we can find the input uh, back. Um, if, however, we have multiple outputs pointing to different uh, inputs, as is the case here, uh, then that means the lookup table will be uh, non-reversible. So we are actually losing um, information uh, with that lookup table because knowing the lookup table and the, the uh, output image, we cannot find the input uh, image back. So this is uh, something that uh, can be interesting to look at when, when using lookup table is, uh, um, are we doing an operation that is uh, reversible? Uh, are, we, or are we doing an operation where we will lose uh, something uh, in the during the transformation? Um, so let's uh, let's look at that with the with within the notebook and try to, to do some stuff uh, with it in the code. Um, so first of all, yeah, I've just have some code where I create the the, the lookup table that I uh, that I made uh, that I showed earlier, and just um, to to sh show a few different ways of looking at it. Um, so here I'm creating the, lo the lookup table uh, just uh, as an array that I'm converting to, to NumPy because it will be easier to use afterwards. Um, the, the, the basic way of looking at it is, as I've shown before, uh, just looking uh, input to output. And we can also plot that uh, in a graph to look at it as a sort of a, a transformation function. So we are transforming the input into an output and looking at the shape of this uh, transformation function can sometimes tell us a uh, thing about what the lookup table is uh, is doing. Uh, in this case, it's kind of random, so it's not uh, very useful, but we'll uh, have a look at uh, different lookup tables in this video and uh, the next and look at uh, their, their shape as well. Um, so let's uh, run this to make sure that I have everything as expected, yes. Um, so I'm going to be looking at um, at uh, another black and white uh, image. So we have this image of, a, of an airplane here, and so this is a, bl a black and white uh, well a grayscale a grayscale image. Um, we can also do lookup tables uh, in in color space, but uh, then it's the lookup tables will be uh, slightly more uh, complex because we have to 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 to. Um, to transform the values of every uh, channel, and we could have a different lookup table for every channel, or, or look at it at diff different ways. Um, but it's like it's the same principle, but slightly more complex. And we'll focus here at in, uh, um, on uh, grayscale images to make things a bit uh, easier. So, what could we do in terms of lookup table? Uh, one. Uh, that I think is fairly easy to, to, to look at and to, to, to understand is a lookup table to invert uh, the values of an image. So the goal is to do uh, an inversion where values that were very high, uh, close to 255 uh, in the input, will be uh, in the output uh, close to uh, zero and vice versa. So the basic idea of such a lookup table, if we look at it in a, a very um, kind of uh, 
a basic uh, code, co coding way would be to say, okay, for all of my possible uh, inputs, which will vary from 0 to 255, so I can make a range 256, this will go from 0 to 255, the outputs will be 255 minus the inputs. So how do I put that in a lookup table? I can do that in one uh, operation. I will again cast it as a numpy array afterwards um, because that's, uh, that will make it e a lot easier to apply the lookup table after. Um, but if I do a numpy, a numpy array, what I want to do is 255 minus i, even need those brackets, for i in range 256. And if I print this lookup table, I will have uh, an array so going from 255 to uh, 0. Okay, um, I can um, plot this to, to look at the shape. Sorry, uh, 256. And I see that I have just uh, a, a decreasing fun uh, function. So starting from zero, uh, if the input is zero, the output is 255, and going down in, in a linear way up to uh, input 255 with, uh, with an output of zero. So nothing very surprising here. How do I apply it to uh, my image? Well, again, the basic way of looking at it is what I will be doing is I want to transform every pixel according to its input value. So I will have an output image, which will be which I will initialize here with zeros, and with the same shape shape as the input. I will and I will loop through every pixel of the uh, image. And the output of y x will be the lookup table, the value from the lookup table of the input in y uh, in uh, the y x coordinates. Okay, so I'm just looking for each pixel into the lookup table uh, at um, at the uh, the output value. So I can now create a new figure to show this output. And I will get an image that is uh, the inversion of the uh, input. So um, one thing that I ca can note here to, 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 to make things uh, a bit uh, more efficient um, uh, is to use uh, the, the broadcasting from NumPy to, to make this, this whole o uh, operation in just uh, one line. Because I can notice that here I am applying the lookup table to every pixel of an array, and this actually can be done directly um, by doing lookup table of the array, and this will, uh, with NumPy, just broadcast the operation uh, on every pixel, the, oper the, so the, the, the operation of indexing the lookup table to every um, uh, element of the uh, im array. So this will be the exact same thing as the loop that I've just done, and I can check that. Um, and so this is how you can apply directly uh, if the uh, image and the lookup tables are both numpy arrays. You can uh, just use this uh, very quick uh, notation to apply the lookup table to the entire image and get the, uh, the resulting image. And this will also be uh, extremely fast uh, as this, uh, these numpy operations will be uh, done in, uh, in C uh, behind the scenes. And so it will be uh, a very, uh, very efficient, a lot more efficient than doing the, the, the loops uh, pixel by pixel. Um, so what else could we uh, could we do? Um, so another another um, so this 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 uh, operation here it's uh, reversible. Uh, so it's one that uh, we could uh, just reverse back the the, the, the lookup table to um, to to find the the original uh, again. So actually, if I do in this case, even lookup table of lookup table, I will get the um, the same image uh, back. 
Um, but I could take a look at uh, an example where, where this is uh, not the case. And one thing that we can use also uh, lookup tables for would be to uh, do some subsampling in the uh, range of the image. So we've seen already some subsampling in the um, spatial uh, dimensions. We, we can also do subsampling in the um, in the values. And this would mean that starting from, uh, for instance, 256 uh, values from 0 to 255, we could have at the output a value between 0 and 7 or between 0 and 15. Um, so having a less dynamic range in our um, grayscale uh, range. Um, so how can we do that? Well, uh, what we can do is, let me take this code, um, we can start so very easily creating a range. So this is a shortcut again with NumPy to just create uh, um, a range from 0 to 255 in, in, a, in a already in a NumPy array. And uh, if I do an integer division of this uh, array by, for instance, 32, So the double slash will be, will be the integer division. So it will uh, cast the result to uh, to make sure the result is always an, an, an integer. Um, and so in this case, it will um, so it will truncate if it's a float. If the result is a, is a float, uh, it will truncate to the um, to the integer uh, below. Um, and so what we will get here, if we divide by 32, um, anything between 0 and 31 will be uh, 0 in the output, then 1, then 2, then 3, etc., up to uh, 7. And if we look at the, um, at the plot of this lookup table, we see that now we have a sort of a, a step uh, function. Um, so if we go to the extreme of dividing this by uh, 128, we'll get a single step function. This will transform the image into uh, black and white. So if I do uh, let me show of the lookup table of the image. So in this extreme case, I've uh, transformed um, I binarize the, the, the image where anything that is below one 127 will be uh, 0 in the outputs and anything over 127 will be 1 in the output. And of course this operation is not uh, reversible. I cannot, I have no way uh, f just from this image and this lookup table to find back the uh, original image. So this is uh, binarization, but if I use lower values I will have different uh, uh, resampling of the uh, of, of the dynamic range. So here we with uh, just uh, four values, uh, with just uh, eight values here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is kind of a very blunt way of also doing uh, image compression. It's just reducing the um, the information contained in every pixel. So here instead of having um, eight bits per pixel, I can uh, use just uh, just four bits uh, to 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 uh, to encode information, but losing some something of course uh, visually but if i go to, um, to for instance here uh, 16 it's already much closer to the original and by 8 so this will be now uh, 32 uh, 32 value and it starts getting ver uh, much harder at least with the, um, if the image is small enough to to see the um, the difference so we can s still see some uh, artifacts here in the in the clouds, but it's already much closer to the to the original. Um, and if I divide by just by four, the number of uh, of possible values. So here I have 64 uh, instead of 256, and it's almost uh, impossible to, to to see the difference now, uh, at least when the image is uh, small enough. Um, so that's it for, 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 for now, and we'll look in the next videos at uh, other applications uh, slightly more with slightly more uh, complicated uh, lookup tables. Um, so I will see you in the next video.